just finished a big home remodel. We've lived in the same tract home for 23 years, and it was looking, well, it just needed some help. And so we started this big remodel um, about six months, uh, nine months after Matthew died. Very raw still. And I went into my house when they were still in the demolition phase. And I went on a weekend when the work had stopped because I wanted to see what they'd done in that first week. And I couldn't believe it. I was shocked. I walked in my front door and half of my house was gone. I was naive. I had no idea what I had just signed up for. I had no idea what I was getting into. I walked in and walls, exterior walls were gone. Windows were gone. The kitchen was gone. There was debris. There was, there was um, the, the insulation. There was pink insulation and rafters and things that were shattered and busted. And there was dirt and there was dust. And in the middle of, this, of my home stood this little machine, this little tractor thing that kind of punches the walls out. And in one of those claws was still like, a board. So, I mean, it was like this monster thing was sitting in the middle of my living room with, you know, still with its claws around this piece of board that it had just torn off the wall. And I began to cry. It's like my home, my home, it's, it's in, it's in shreds. It's been ruined. And then as I stood there thinking of how this was a microcosm of my life, that that's exactly the way I felt that had happened to my life. As I'm staring at this little monster thing that had ripped open the walls and punched holes in the walls and left my home completely shattered, as I looked over it, past it, because there, was no, there were no windows, I could look right out to the outside. And it was a beautiful day, an incredibly beautiful day. The sky was gorgeous blue. There were these white clouds. You know, I mean, it was picture perfect day. It was spring, so there were, the trees were blooming. There were flowers, and I thought, God, this is what you do, isn't it? This is this is how you work in the ruins. This is how you're not helpless. Because even as my physical house is ruined, I can look past that and I see that there's still beauty in the world. The sun is still shining. God, you're still at work in your creation. You haven't forgotten us. You're still working your plan. And like my house is going to be rebuilt, God, you will rebuild our lives. You will rebuild. That's who you are.